so good afternoon everybody uh, today uh, i'll just uh, again uh, first uh, uh, recap session okay okay uh, okay so in the last class okay, i have explained about uh, the different inspection uh, methods so so here uh, the touch inspection in the last class okay so the after that uh, you have learned about the visual inspection okay so what is why we are going for the touch inspection and visual, visual inspection what are the drawbacks what are the advantages of uh, those two okay that you have seen okay and then uh, scratch inspection okay how we are going to do the scrap in, uh, inspection okay so we are using the lead babbit or plastic uh, we are rub, uh, over the, uh, the surface of the uh, the component okay which is to be inspected and uh, whatever the the uh, impressions are there that uh, okay uh, visually we are uh, visualized okay in this particular method microscopic inspection okay in that method yes we are using uh, the microscope and then we'll inspect that particular part okay uh, any component okay uh, but in this particular microscopic inspection the limitation okay disadvantage is only small amount of uh, the surface uh, uh, is can be uh, measured okay uh, in this particular type of uh, inspection and then uh, surface photographs okay surface photographs okay we are uh, using some uh, uh, taking the vertical illumination okay and uh, we are using the magnified photographs okay uh, surface we are taking and then we are analyzing that okay and micro interferometer okay in this uh, again uh, the monochromatic source of light we are using and then uh, we are studying the inference bands okay in this and then reflected light intensity okay again here the the light intensity the reflected okay the beam of light uh, okay of known quantity is used and it is projected on the surface okay and that reflection whatever it is there okay in the different uh, it will just go into the different directions so at that time the intensity of that particular light will come down okay so that uh, it reduces changes okay and that uh, direction uh, of uh, the uh, the light is uh, measured okay intensity of the light is measured by photocells okay and then we are analyzing that okay the roughness okay value so next is direct uh, instrument measurement in that again you have uh, learned profilometer tomlinson uh, surface meter and taylor hobson teleserv okay so in the stylus probe instrument so these are all all these three are stylus probe instruments okay so what is the the different uh, uh, the types it consists of okay for uh, the units whatever it is uh, there are the components of the these stylus probe instruments are one is a skid or a shoe stylus probe okay stylus or a probe and the amplifying device one amplifying device is required a recording device is required and uh, we are analyzing with the help of that we are analyzing the traces Okay, this is the you have seen this particular diagram. I have explained this. What is the skid? What is stylus probe? Okay, how it is moving? What are the radius of that in 10 micron? Okay, radius of the stylus probe. Amplifying device is required for the pickup. Okay, and recording is also required. Okay, so then uh, why recording is required? Again, uh, to to produce the trace. Okay, uh, and uh, so these are the thing okay uh, uh this recording uh, uh then profilometer okay uh, this okay so why is this profilometer is required for the uh, okay it is like uh, the gramophone okay uh, you might have heard the gramophone in the earlier uh, uh, days you have seen that uh, gramophone okay to it is like whatever uh, the disc is there okay and uh, so how you are going to amplify that okay that uh, is uh, uh, we are using the similar type of pointed fine pointed stylus okay in this profilometer for the in the pickup unit 
and it will traverse across the surface by either hand or motor drive okay hand drive or motor uh, the instrument records the rectified output from the pickups okay where the pickups are there which is amplified further and operates on indicating device okay so this is profilometer tomlinson surface meter so here arm okay so whatever the 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 pickups are there that is uh, uh, projected on the smoked glass here okay so diamond stylus we are using okay the spring everything is there. so we are using the different components here spring horizontal motion all those things you have seen in this in the yesterday's uh, class okay similarly uh, uh, the taylor hobson teleser okay here also we are using the e type uh, 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 meter okay measuring head of uh, this instrument consists of uh, the diamond uh, this thing okay so uh, the measuring uh, instrument okay the stylus and other things so you have seen in the yesterday uh, uh, ppt so today i'll just uh, uh, start with the machine vision system okay in this what is a machine vision system okay it is an automatic extraction okay of information from uh, digital images okay so automatic extraction of information so we are extracting the information from the digital images so we are taking the digital images okay and then we are extracting from the the information from that okay so what is the machine vision here so machine vision is concerned with sensing of vision data so it, uh, we want to sense that okay so usually uh, the data and its interpretation by a computer how you are going to interpret that what is the image so if i want to uh, see uh, in the machine vision system whenever the part is moving say on the conveyor belt okay i want to uh, capture that particular data say like your barcode is a one uh, uh, thing okay so if i kept to some component in that particular box and some barcode system uh, i have uh, uh, a sticker you have applied on that particular box and i want to sense that which part is there okay and the barcoding is given particular barcoding is given to that particular part so now i want to uh, visualize that particular part which is what is the part inside that particular box okay so whenever that particular box is moving on the conveyor belt slowly moving on the conveyor belt with the help of machine vision system we are analyzing the data we are capturing that particular data that is we are sensing the of vision data okay whatever we are sensing the vision whatever the vision is there barcoding system is there that we are sensing and we are interpretation we are doing that okay in that particular box which type of component is there okay by a computer system okay the typical vision system consists of camera one camera is required okay and digitizing hardware so to convert that we required one digitizing hard second digital computer and hardware and software necessary to interface uh, them okay so interfacing uh, of uh, the the hardware and software we required the interface uh, uh, is required hardware and uh, software interface is required and one digital computer is required okay and one camera is required in the machine vision system okay so usually uh, if you see if you go to uh, the high end uh, uh, the part like say aerospace components if i want to uh, 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 uh check the dimension of those particular say machined parts okay in the 3d interface so in that particular case okay we are just keeping that particular when the component is uh, over you say machining is over like say on uh, initially we are doing machining on semi finished machining on uh, lathe machine and then finishing machining on uh, uh, on cnc machine then uh, some drilling tapping operation on say uh, vmc machine and then we are uh, going for the final inspection in the final inspection say uh, uh, i want to go for the 3d inspection then yes there is a uh, one is a touch uh, uh, probe uh, sensor touch probe uh, sensors are there okay that is the cmm we are using but other than cmm we are using the machine vision system if that particular part is coming okay with the help of conveyor system and the part is lifting okay and then it will come on the machine vision system table automatically with the help of camera we are capturing all the data okay in the 3d uh, uh, inter the, the 3d uh, space okay and then once that particular data is uh, captured then 
uh, automatically uh, it will generate with the help of that particular software okay hardware yes Com the the machine vision system one camera is required it will capture the data from the different angle either say the the table is rotating and the camera is fixed or camera is rotating and it is taking the images of all from all 360 degree angle and it will may it will generate that particular the part in the 3d model and then the dimension of that particular part and then uh, it will uh, give it will interpretation will be done and then uh, the hardware and software interface okay when the interface is required the interface will give okay the these particular thing okay and we are doing the interpretation with the help of computer system okay so uh, this is about the machine vision system and then if the part is okay then we are accepting that otherwise we are rejecting that particular part or the conf uh, the 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 Mm, what we are calling it uh, uh, the con the confirmation or non confirming item or confirming item okay now this interface of hardware and software is often referred to as a pre processor so we are using the pre processor here okay the interface hardware and software okay it is called the referred as the pre processor okay the operation of the vision system consists of three functions what are the three function here sensing and digitizing the image data image processing and analysis and application where we are using so sensing what is sensing and digitizing of the image of the data okay so here so if you see the machine vision system okay so the hardware part function typical technical applications are given okay so here hardware camera is required okay lighting okay then the a to d conversion okay analog to uh, digital conversion this is the frame grabber is there okay from the frame grabber it will go to the image processing analysis so this is sensing and digitization okay of the image so that in that camera will come lighting will come the analog and digital conversion is converter is will come the frame grabber will come okay how many frames we are grabbing okay so that that will come into the sensing and digitization of image data that will come under the function what are the hardware of that particular sensing and digitizing image so these are the hardware parts okay next comes the image processing and analysis in that we have stored programs algorithm okay we are storing that in the computer and then auxiliary storages are also there that is the hard disk and all so computer processor one computer is required to process that particular data to interpret that particular data and one monitor is required to show the image and then uh, the keyboard we are using okay to process that particular data okay next comes the application where we are using that once this particular thing is uh, done then the uh, uh, i and f okay input and uh, finish okay that robot controller will come and then the task which task we are using that okay so that is the application okay so here uh, uh the 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 first sensing a typical techniques and application in that we have a signal conversion okay so that is camera and lighting analog to digital uh, conversion in the signal conversion we are taking the sampling then quantization we are doing encoding we are doing okay and then image storage and frame grabber will be there okay in that we have uh, doing the lighting then front back lighting beam splitter will be there and then uh, uh, a retro uh, uh, re uh, reflection uh, reflectors uh, are there uh, reflector retro reflectors are there and then uh, specular illumination technique we are using and other technique we are using for the lighting purpose okay then in the image processing and analysis okay stored program algorithm whatever it is the auxiliary storage computer is required and all so here we are doing the data reduction okay in the image processing we are processing that particular image okay in that data rejection in that we are doing the windowing okay so whatever the image we have captured whatever the 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 part of the image we want only we are taking that particular window and other uh, the image we are just deleting that okay then we are converting that into digital conversion okay then we are doing the segmentation of that particular uh, uh, data okay and thresholding we are doing region growing we are doing edge detection okay feature in the, uh, that we are doing in the segmentation part okay feature extraction okay in that we are doing the descriptors okay we are writing the descriptors then uh, object recognition 
then we are uh, matching the template with the help of the 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 the, the master okay and other algorithms we are using for this for the, to uh, the process the image next comes your application in that the inspection we are doing okay with the help of robot controller system identification of that particular part visual uh, surveying of uh, that part and navigation of that uh, thing okay then we are uh, uh, taking that to next task okay so this is about the machine vision okay next in that the first one sensing and digitizing image data now what is the sensing and digitizing of uh, the image data so first one image sensing requires some type of image formation device such as camera and digitizer which stores a video frame in the computer memory so here we required to sensing that particular image okay we required one okay formation device one formation so image we have to form so either it is in the form of uh, the the video or either whether it is in the form of photo okay so such a one for to take that particular uh, photograph okay or uh, the video we required one camera okay and digitizer okay so camera and a digitizer which stores a video frame okay if you are using the video then we are taking the frames video frames in the computer memory so we have to store that particular part in the image in the computer memory okay then we divide the sensing and digitizing functions into several steps so sensing and digitizing we are just separating that okay first is capturing the image of the scene okay whatever the scene is there i want to capture that okay first you have to capture that okay the scene you have to capture any any scene okay then digitizing so you have to go for the digitization so then pixel okay so then you have to go for the digitization how many pixels okay whether it is 1200 by 1200 1400 by 1400 or 970 by 1200 1240 like that so that is the digitization of that particular image okay next comes here the 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 figure okay so what uh, uh, the sensors okay objects robots uh, so in the earlier slide i have shown okay so here i have shown that particular uh, uh, thing sorry okay the robot controller and all so here in this you just if you want if you see this particular figure okay you'll come to know so here the programmable controller will be there the inputs are coming to this programmable controller the buzzer will be there this is the output this is the input what we are providing this is the output it is giving connected to the positive uh, this thing okay terminal then it will give that particular inputs to the robot system input to check okay then the tall object short object tall object and short object will be there okay then the sensor okay is kept here light source and sensor so so light source is uh, with the help of light source okay we are just <coughs> uh, reflecting that particular the light okay on the tall object and short object so it will reflect to the sensor okay the light is once it uh, hit to the surface of that uh, the part it will reflect the light will reflect uh, to the sensor sensor will grab that particular uh, the the reflected light and then it will send the signal to the programmable controller and uh, here also this particular uh, sensor also sends the signal to the input of the programmable controller if it is okay then the buzzer will uh, the output will come and then otherwise it will again uh, 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 it will send the signal to the robot input okay and the uh, if it is a pick and place type of robot okay then if the part is okay then the the object will go to the next uh, the the uh, 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 level okay for uh, checking or something if i want to uh, do a, a capping operation uh, for one say bottle uh, if you are taking the bottling plant okay small uh, uh, bottles if i want to just fill some uh, uh, liquid or a nutrient and then it will go to the next stage in the next stage we are doing the capping operation again it, in the next stage next station we are doing the the labeling operation so when it comes to that particular stage okay well, first stage so robot okay pick if it is a pick and place type of robot with the, the in the tray if we are keeping that particular bottles for uh, filling uh, station then if the filling is okay then if you are keeping them the one example just i am giving 
if you are keeping the machine vision system okay so and with the help of a robot programmer programmable controller if that particular fill okay uh, is correct then the machine vision will take the picture it will send that particular picture to the program controller program will in turn it will give the signal to the robot controller to pick that particular part and place in the next tray for the next uh, capping operation so this is how uh, uh, they are doing the, they are capturing that particular image so for this we re they required camera first one is camera second one is a light source third one is a frame grabber fourth one is a circuitry and fifth one is programming okay and uh, 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 circuitry and programming fifth one is computer sixth one is computer interface so these are the uh, the uh, six uh, parts okay uh, uh, in the the in the uh, uh, machine vision system okay so first one is a camera okay so here if this particular part say this is a conveyor uh, belt and uh, this particular say spanner is moving okay uh, uh, from the conveyor belt so camera okay from one camera is required light source is required okay and then frame grabber is required okay and computer circuitry uh, uh, and uh, programming computer is required and uh, so circuitry and program uh, uh, programmer then computer is required and computer interface okay that is with the help of robot for the picking and placing of the part okay so here in this particular case first one is the light source is required and the light is uh, falling on that particular one so it falls on that particular one so this particular part moves here the light falls on this particular part and that particular light is sensed by the camera camera will give the analog signal to the frame grabber and it is converting here the analog signal is converted into the digital data and that digital data is the signal is uh, given the input is given to the computer and here that computer will generate that particular part whatever the part uh, uh, description is there okay for that uh, rs232c that is a part say description that is given to this uh, the serial data continuously it is given to the this robot system okay so when when this particular part will come here the robot automatically uh take that particular part pick that particular part and it will place to the uh, the the next uh, uh, station okay in that also whether it is confirming or non confirming if if it is only a pick pick and place type of a robot for the next operation either it is a next processing operation <coughs> or if you take for the inspection okay so that particular serial data it will analyze the robot will analyze in the and then it will take that it will pick that and then it will keep it into the next station if it is rejected then it will keep it in the bin okay like that so what are the different components of machine vision system okay so components of machine vision systems are one is image okay second one is a camera is required third one is the image capturing system is required or a frame what we are calling it as a frame grab grabber and then the the pre processor is required then the memory to store that particular uh, data the processor okay to process that data and output interface that is one uh, uh, interface is required okay uh, uh, to give the output okay structured light technique how uh, this particular one by one okay structured light technique okay horizontal glass interface is there this is the light source which is coming on uh, the the which is falling on the the part and uh, here the camera is fixed okay so here if the object is there then that particular light will not pass if the object is not there then the light will pass so this particular camera will capture that particular data this is what we are calling it as a structured light technique okay structured light technique next is again one more uh, uh, figure here uh, front lighting using single source see here earlier it is a back lighting okay this is the back lighting okay light source is a, this is the light source this is the back lighting okay so now here if you see this is the front lighting okay so in the from the front here if you see the two images so from the 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 lighting lighting will be from the back side to this particular in the the part the the lighting will be from the back side okay but if you see this particular part lighting is this is the part lighting is from the front side okay and image is cap, the camera is capturing capturing the image okay and the shadow will come here okay so if you see this is the shadow this is the shadow okay the light is uh, 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 sources this is the light source okay okay the the rays are falling light rays are falling uh, on that particular part okay 
so this is the shadow what we are getting and this is the camera and that is the shadow okay this is the shadow what we are getting after uh, illumination of that particular once it is light is illuminated once it is reflected then that particular shadow we will get okay so this is the front lighting using the light source single source of light this is front lighting using two polarized lights example for sequential different uh, images if you are just checking the image one and image two you will come to know here okay so this is horizontally polarized light this is vertical polarized light on this particular part okay this is the camera and this is the rotating polarized filter here it is filter is rotating okay and here these are the two images you will get okay shadow and images of uh, the, the two, two is part if you, if you see that particular part the shadow is exactly mirrored over here for the horizontal one okay it is mirrored type of image okay for the if you are considering two source of lights okay sequential different images so light focused to a spot now here we are using the horizontal source of light vertical source of light okay in the earlier case or a single source of light we are seen now light is focused at a spot if you the light is focused okay at a spot if you see then this is the light source okay which is uh, focusing that particular the the which is focused on the spot and whatever the image we are getting okay from here so that particular image so this is camera is capturing okay and this is the image okay so once that particular image you will get that is the spotted uh, light okay light focused on a image so now image acquisition how you are going to acquire the image okay so in that that is a sensing uh, uh, thing acquisition light and ema spectrum em spectrum so monochromatic light is required okay intensity uh, is the only attribute uh, from back to white okay monochromatic images are referred to as a gray scale images so usually monochromatic light okay uh, only in a gray uh, that is white and black okay or a gray scale images okay so only it is attribute okay intensity uh, is only attribute from the back to white okay so uh, chromatic light and 0.43 to 0.79 uh, uh, um okay uh, and the quantity of the chromatic light source is radiance w illuminance uh, so sorry luminance is uh, lm and brightness okay is required the quantity of chromatic light source what are the quantities of radiance and uh, luminance and brightness okay these are the 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 chromatic light bands okay so it is 0.43 to 0.79 uh, um okay so acquisition again here if you see these two figures okay will come to a single imaging sensor line sensor and array sensor okay so c is array sensor so here the energy is coming okay these are the filter this is the filter this is the power in okay and this is the housing okay this is the housing this is the sensing material okay and here voltage in the waveform out okay whatever the voltage is there so it will come in the waveform okay so this is the grid actually okay so this is how we are acquisition the image okay single single in the single uh, this thing pattern like this okay and we are making those particular uh, digitization okay of the image so how one more is the uh, acquisition okay so this is the uh, combining a single sensor with the uh, motion to generate a 2d image how you are going to generate uh, the 2d image of that particular part so film is there okay uh, here film is there this is the sensor that is a film this is the drum it is rotating okay and the 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 sensor is moving in this particular direction linear motion okay one image line out per increment of the rotation one image okay one rotation okay full one rotation per uh, increment of uh, uh, that particular line here one line okay it will move in the uh, the linear motion okay and full linear displacement of the sensor from left to right so from left to right it will move okay and it will cap capture the image okay so single sensor with the, the motion of uh, the uh, motion to generate the two dimensional image okay in the x and y direction so this is uh, one more image okay so if you see linear motion this is the sensor strip okay this is the image area so it will move in the particular direction linear motion okay one image line out for increment of the linear motion if i want to move so this is your sensor strip so it will move like this in this direction okay so this is a 3d object cross section of the 3d object if you see this particular 3d and if you want if i want to uh, 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 produce the image from this this is a 3d object one shaft and some uh, circular part is there in that x ray source 
is there so this is the linear motion if you move particular part and the sensor uh, ring is there okay so this is the sensor ring okay and uh, this will give the image uh, uh, reconstruction uh, is there then the cross section of the image of the 3d object so one cross section second third see like one two three four so it's n number of images will come okay how as the the this particular part 3d object will move okay uh, in the ring okay in the linear uh, uh, direction using the the sensors okay so this is one image and this is a another image an example of digital image acquisition process okay one is in that a okay is uh, energy that is the illumination source okay so illumination uh, uh, source is this okay that is illumination energy source and uh, the second one is an element of uh, uh, the scene okay the scene element is this okay so illumination of the energy okay so the light source will fall on this particular the uh, the scene okay and it will uh, reflect to the imaging system wherein uh, the image processing okay will be done and then it will go to the output okay digitization of the image we are doing okay so first is analog to digital converter and then it will go to the next okay uh, thing so next is the image system that is c d is projection of the scene okay we are projecting that particular scene on the the image plane that is internal okay image plane and then we are doing the digitization of that particular part okay so it depends on the 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 pixels okay how much pixels you are going to select so that much smooth curve will come okay of the image if the pixels are more uh, the the width and uh, height of the pixel is more then we are getting the we are not getting that smooth curve of the picture so this is the cross section of the video con uh, video con tube okay so one more uh, this thing so here uh, how you are going to sense that this is a horizontal and vertical deflecting coils are there focusing coil is there the the, the components of this particular vidicon uh, tube okay uh, glass plate glass face uh, plate this is the lens this is the scene whatever we are capturing this is a signal input okay these are the mesh uh, are there this is the target is there okay and electron gun so with the help of electron gun whatever the uh, this thing okay the the image okay whatever we are capturing the scene okay that is uh, reflected on that particular mesh okay and target is set and then accordingly we are setting the electron gun and it is focused okay so whether we have to focus uh, how much we are focusing that the target we, we are setting and then uh, on the glass plate once that particular image is uh, uh, projected okay on the face plate uh, using the glass so deflecting coil okay horizontal and vertical deflecting coils which will deflect that particular uh, the the image on this particular thing and then focusing coil okay this focus that particular part on the the glass and then the target and a mesh okay which will capture that particular image okay so acquisition using the sensor okay array arrays okay so acquisition ccd array change couple devices we are using okay ccd means change couple device so use in digital cameras okay whatever the ccd is there if you see the digital camera so we are using that particular ccd array okay can be packed in rugged arrays of 4000 by 4000 uh, arrays okay if you see the array that uh, is uh, measuring 4000 by 4000 okay this is the digital camera so if you see this particular digital camera uh, nikon type uh, zoom camera that is uh, 8 to 20 mm uh, zoom okay uh, this is the ccd that is a change uh, charge couple devices okay this is a one more uh, ccd image okay of the charge this is the first image of the charge couple uh, device okay of uh, nikon okay zoom nikon and uh, this is the another image of the charge couple device okay this is ccd 3.2 million pixels okay in the array 4000 by 4000 if you check the pixels okay it is 3.2 million okay uh, pixels are there okay uh, we will capture that particular data so a simple image formation how we are going to do that particular model formation of the model okay so zero less than a, less than a function of x and y and less than infinity okay so where uh, x and y uh, the function of x y is equal to i into x Uh, comma y so uh, and uh, r is equal to x comma y where zero is uh, less than uh, i x y less than infinity and zero is less than again r x y less than 1 
So here f x y is the intensity at that particular point here x x y. Okay, that is a function of x y is the intensity of the point at x y. Uh, I x y is the illumination. I is illumination. Okay, and uh, R is the reflectance. Okay, uh, of that particular part. So here I uh, is the illumination at the point x y. Okay, the amount of whatever the source of illumination incident. Okay, on the scene, how much uh, we are. Uh, uh illumin how much light we are just projecting on that particular part so that is illumination okay incident on the scene okay the, to capture that particular data so that how much amount of source is required source of light illumination is required so r is the reflectance okay once it is uh, the, the once the illumination or uh, once the amount of source is illuminated on that particular part okay incidented on that particular scene okay uh, it will be reflected on that particular uh, the part okay on the glass or a uh, the the this particular uh, um, image if you see so image system okay it is reflected on the image system so here so if you see that particular image okay reflectance or a transmitted transmissivity uh, transmissivity uh, at the point of x y okay the amount of illumination reflected okay or a transmitted by the object how much amount of that particular illumination is reflected uh, from that particular object and that uh, in the image okay uh, we are capturing okay that is a simple image formation of the model okay so some typical range of illuminations are there okay so illumination lumen a unit of light okay uh, flow or luminous flux so this is a lumen means it is a unit of light flow how much uh, of light flow uh, it will be there so lumen per square meter is the metric unit of the measure for luminance of the surface okay how much surface okay the light uh, is reflected uh, the light is uh, illuminated so that is uh, the measure of uh, illuminance of the surface so on a clear day if you see cloudy day clear day clear evening day okay different types of illumination uh, the light illuminations we will get so on clear day sun may produce x in excess of 90000 lumens per meter square of uh, illumination on the surface of the earth okay so it is 90000 lumens okay per square meter okay lumens per square meter that uh, the sun is producing in a clear day okay on a cloudy day the sun may produce around 10000 lumens okay per meter square of the illumination okay on the earth and on clear evening uh, the moon okay he uh, uh, yields about around uh, 0.1 lumen per meter square of the illumination okay so the typical illumination level in a commercial office if you see okay uh, is about 1000 lumens okay uh, lumens per uh, uh, meter square if you go for uh, the lighting okay in the office that is uh, 1000 lumens per meter square so some typical range of uh, reflectance here so reflectance is uh, the the 0.01 for black velvet okay reflectance 0.65 for stainless steel okay 0.80 for flat white wall uh, uh, paint okay so that's why why we uh, why uh, everybody is telling that always the the, the wall uh, should be uh, uh, like say bright uh, colors why we are using it is because of uh, the lumens okay or the the reflectors okay from whatever once the light is the uh, lum the lumen of light is falls on that particular wall surface when it reflects okay so the 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 room should be uh, it it's say like uh, room is bigger okay uh, if you uh, same thing if you see the uh, because of the lumens are in the night the lumen uh, uh, the, the illumination is very very low okay low in the low illumination you will see that particular uh, uh, whatever the carpet area will be there it is smaller it look like as smaller in the dark okay if you see in the the day it is uh, bigger it is because of this particular thing because of the reflectors okay 0.80 for flat white wall paint okay 0.90 for silver plated metal okay it is reflects more okay silver plated uh, metal uh, metal and 0.93 snow okay stainless steel it is 0.65 for black velvet it is 0.01 okay uh, reflectance okay reflectance will be very minimum in black velvet and very high in the silver plated metals okay so analog to digital converter so here as i have told uh, in the uh, the slide in the earlier slide here 
so analog to digital converter is required okay so in the sensing data image storage uh, analyzed to digital converter okay e to d converter is required here in this uh, uh, a sensing and digitizing image data analog to digital converter is required so in the analog to digital converter if you see okay so analog is a function of v okay whatever the velocity of the the ray of light which is uh, falling on that particular uh, the the scene okay that is equal to function of x and y okay whatever the function is there so v x and y are real whatever the real uh, picture we want to capture that is real okay and uh, the digital how we are converting that into analog to digital okay the function v okay uh, is equal to function of x y v is equal to function of x y so v and x and y are the integers 0 and 1 okay there is a integer so but uh, we are what whatever capture we are capturing in the analog it is a real okay so sampling if you see the digital image and physical image the sampling whatever we are uh, 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 taking sampling means measuring the value of an image at a finite number of points okay sampling is a measuring the value of an image so whatever the image is there this particular image is there i want to uh, take measure that particular value of that particular image okay so in a finite number of points so i want to take the image from here i want to take the image of this i want to take the image of this i want to take the capture the image of this so this so like that at finite number of points n number points if, uh, that is how we are doing the sampling okay quantization is the representation of the measured value whatever we are doing the quantization so that is a measured value whatever it is there okay at the sampled point this is a sampled point okay this is a sample these are the two sampled points here in this particular figure they have shown by an integer so we are taking the integer here okay at this particular point in the with we are making the grids okay uh, that is what we are called as a pixels and uh, uh, th this is the digital image okay in the form of gray uh, level okay those are called the integers we are showing okay with the help of integer in the digital image okay this is called sampling and quantization so if you see this particular uh, uh, in the gray scale okay uh, level and columns of samples okay this is the line okay this is the picture okay this is the picture and these are the lines okay so this is the how we are converting this is the sample spacing okay this is the sample spacing this is the pixel okay one pixel and it is converting that particular thing into pixels and sample spacing this is the line spacing and this is the sample spacing then it will go to the gray okay there are three uh, that's why i have told it is a gray and white uh, combination black gray and white combination so this gray white is zero gray is 128 and this is 255 level okay and it will give it will generate that particular pixels okay in the pixels it will show that particular word okay this is the stepping down from reality to integer coordinate xy sampling so here continuous image projected on the sensor array okay b is result of image sampling and quantization here this is the real picture okay this is the real image okay which is image is projected on the sensor array this is the sensor array this is the sensor array the real picture is projected here with the help of light source okay either it is a single source of light whether it is a uh, the horizontal vertical source of light okay uh, or other uh, uh, by means okay so here uh, stepping down from the reality to integer this is stepping down we are just this is the reality we are stepping down to the integer part so this is the integer okay gray white and gray scale okay here the illumination is more so in this particular uh, uh, case so in this particular pixel if you see the illumination is more and here the darker side in this case darker image okay on in this particular pixel you will get the darker uh, side so here if you see the dark okay black color uh, the the scale okay it is converting into the black uh, color scale okay sampling in, uh, in the quantization okay so this is how we are uh, uh, stepping down that particular uh, uh, the rea the reality of that particular image to the integer coordinates in the x and y coordinates okay this is called the sampling what we are taking okay and then uh, this is sampling and quantization one more figure okay here generating a digital image okay a this is the digital image what we are generating that is a to b this is a section what they have shown okay and then b a 
scan line from A to B. This is the scanned line from A to B. Okay. In the continuous image, that is continuous image in the scan. Okay. See, uh, uh, we are we are just to see that this is the 2D image, but if this the, the the image is uh, the 3D. Okay. So here A to B. Okay. So this is the B. So whatever the image will be there. So once the light is reflected on that, you will get that particular image. This thing. Okay. So this is A to B in the continuous image. Used to uh, illustrate the concept of sampling and quantization. This is the concept of sampling and quantization. Okay. See this. Okay. See is sampling. Okay. So whatever we are taking, sampling and quantization. This is sampling and quantization. Here, these are the sampling. Whatever we are taking. Okay. At this particular point. Okay. Because we are just stepping down that particular. Uh, we are using the stepping down approach. Okay. So this is A to B. So that uh, uh, into the pixels. Okay, we are taking the reality into integer. We are taking. Okay, and then this is quantization. Okay, gray, white to gray scale. Okay, so white to black, white, gray, and black scale. Okay, we are quantization. We are doing the sampling and quantization. And this is the digital scan line. This is the digital scan line. Okay, with the help of A and B. So the image is digitized here. Okay. With the help of uh, this sampling and quantization. Okay, so this is the image for the sampling. If you see, this is the original image. Okay, of the 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 scene. Okay, this is sampled by a factor of two. Then you will see small pixels are there here. Okay, you will see that particular pixel. This is sampled by a factor of four. Again, we are increasing the the pixel uh, length and width. Okay. So uh, sorry, length and height we are increasing. So the pixels are more. Okay, this is the digitization of the sampling and digitization of the image. Okay, we are converting that into this. This is sampled by a factor of eight. Again, eight factor means again, if you see the pixels here, it is bigger in size. Okay, so that is image sampling and uh, sampling of the image. Okay. So now what is the the quantization? Okay. So till now we have seen what is the sampling, okay? What is the acquisition of that image? What is the sampling of the image? And then of the quantization of the image, okay? Sampling and in the sampling and quantization, each sampled discrete uh, uh, time voltage level is assigned to a fine number of defined amplitude levels. Each quantization, how we are going to do the quantization? Each sampled discrete time. Okay, how we are going to? It is a frame what we are uh, uh, calling. Okay, so discrete time voltage level, okay, is assigned to a finite number of defined amplitude levels. So it is the 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 voltage level is assigned, okay, uh, to a finite number of def uh, the amplitude levels. Okay, so these amplitude levels correspond to the gray scale. Okay, so we are uh, uh, the levels is uh, the those particular amplitude levels are corresponding to the gray scale. Okay, and uh, they are we are using that in the system. Okay, and predefined amplitude levels are characteristics to a particular analog to digital converter and consist of a set of discrete value of voltage levels. Okay, so number of quantization levels is defined by number of quantization levels is equal to two raised to n. So here the amplitude levels we are using usually. Okay, uh, the uh, the predetermined amplitude levels uh, uh, we are uh, characterizing that with the help of uh, analog to digital converter. Okay, so we have in that we have a discrete set of uh, values of uh, the voltage levels in that particular system. <coughs> When n is number of the bits of uh, A to D converter, okay, a large number of bits enable a sig signal to be represented more. So here, if you see, n is number of bits. Okay, uh, how many bits uh, are there? Okay, in the analog to digital converter, large number of bits. If you go for the large number of bits. Will will uh, the precise uh, number of uh, the representation will be there? So this is large number of uh, the bits. If you see, that is a smaller number of eight. It is factor by eight. This is small number of bits. This is a large number of bits. You will get the clear picture. Okay, the image is very clear, precise. Okay, for example, an eight bit converter would allow us to quantify at two raised to eight, two fifty six different values, whereas four bit would allow only. 2 raised to 4, 16 different quantization levels. If you see this 4 and 6, okay, so you can quantization, you can uh, quantify, okay, you can quantify. If you see this particular 4, okay, the quantization is 
possible there in uh, this sample if you factor that uh, with respect to 8 ok 8 bit converter ok so this is 250 uh, image quantization this is what we are seen in sampling but if you see the quantization of this particular image ok example of quantization see 256 grayscale ok 8 bits per pixel ok here 8 bits per, per pixel 32 gray levels ok 5 bits per pixel 16 gray levels 4 bits per pixel 8 gray levels 3 bits per pixel 4 gray levels 2 bits per pixel and here 2 gray levels 1 bit per pixel so this is how you will get that particular image if you go for quantization of that particular image ok so here in that the amplitude plays very very important amplitude level of that particular play uh, thing ok in the grayscale plays very very important role in the quantization ok so these are the levels of the quantization so that is 2, 2 raised to n ok so number of quantization level is equal to 2 raised to n ok so n is number of bits how many bits you are using so this is bits ok 8 bits per bit 8 bits per uh, pixel ok 256 gray levels ok so similarly here so once this uh, sampling then the quantization is over then comes the encoding of that particular part how you are going to encode that ok how you are going to uh, uh, how will go uh, uh, to encode that particular uh, the image or uh, the, the scene ok once it is quantization is done the amplitude level that are quantized must be changed into digital code now we have to convert it to the digital code ok so this process termed as encoding so that process whatever we are converting ok to the digital one it is called the encoding term ok involves representing an amplitude level by binary digit sequence so here binary digit one figure I have shown just now yeah this figure if you see here this is the pixels this is the binary coding ok this is the gray level this is the binary coding ok whatever we are converting it back into uh, the digital one that is with what the process we are calling it as a the encoding process ok so here uh, encoding uh, digital uh, amplitude by a binary digital digit sequence so this is called the ability of encoding process to distinguish between various uh, amplitude level is a function of the spacing of each quantization level so whatever the quantization level will be there the spacing between that whatever spacing we are taking ok that is spacing is this 256 gray levels 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits per pixel or 32 gray levels 5 uh, bits per pixel so like this ok whatever the levels we are selecting amplitude level is the quantization level we are selecting 2 raised to n ok given a full scale range of the analog to video signal ok the spacing of each level would be defined by how you are going to define the each level spacing it is defined by quantization level spacing is equal to full minus scaled range ok how much we are uh, scaled down that particular image divided by 2 raised to uh, n ok so that is the quantization error resulting from the quantization process can be defined as quantization error is equal to half of quantization level spacing what is the spacing is there level spacing will be there in the quantization process ok so half of that will be your quantization error ok so that much uh, will be there so today ok uh, you have learned so I will stop here today you, are, uh, you have learned ok in this particular session you have learned what is the machine vision what is the machine vision system ok so what are the functions of the machine vision ok and then uh, sensing and digitization what is sensing and what is digitization so figures related to that ok what are the components of machine vision system ok structure light technique ok and then uh, the image acquisition ok light source light and the uh, EM spectrum acquisition how we are going to act, uh, acquire the image ok so cross section of uh, Vedicon tube acquisition using the sensors sensor arrays ok CCD some figures of CCD then uh, how you are going to form the model some typical range of illumination ok that is uh, reflectance illumination ok analog to uh, digital converter ok images sampling and quantization you have seen then uh, stepping down from reality to the integer 
and then image sampling okay quantization and encoding okay so in the next class i will uh, start with uh, the encoding system okay uh, uh, of the uh, the machine vision system okay so today i'll stop here thank you